Taurus. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Taurus. The message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you're wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way you will always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. Also, what was I gonna say? Oh yes, you guys can also follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. I just post more stuff on quantum physics and crazy alchemy stuff that I do over there. So you can jump over there if you would like. And always, as always, thank you so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Okay. So something could be a little bit um, on hold right now. So you could be in this mode of maybe meditation or trying to look at, yeah, I feel like you're in a phase of transition, whatever that looks like. Some of you guys might have been in a holding pattern. I feel like in that moment, something is gonna shift there because I feel as though you're not really struggling in it much. You've kind of just relaxed into this energy or at least that's what it's telling me. I do think that something is going to shift all of a sudden, okay? Um, boom, so there you were, kind of like, I don't know, I feel like there could be something here that you've known you needed to let go of. It could be the thing that you're like, it's, it also could be, there's, a, there's something here. Okay. I do think this is another energy here. It could be an air sign or I'm going to focus on this because, okay, this King of Swords energy could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but you've also got Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Sag, lots of different signs here. <laughs> and this could be, yes, like two sides of this energy that possibly you're dealing with. Maybe a very intellectual person, analytical, articulate, confident, shadow side they could be very stern cold cruel manipulative and maybe a bit of injustice here okay that's what i think is connected to this um hanged man what was that that was weird i just heard something that's what i feel like is connected to this hanged man energy okay where there could be something here. It's, yeah, maybe you're thinking of letting go of this person, definitely. But also, I actually feel there's another thing that you're doing that's like, um, it's the way that you're soothing yourself while you're dealing with this energy. So does that make sense? So it's kind of like, whatever this person does, however they articulate their words and their language, it affects you in some way. Okay, and it could be like affecting you. And if you were to pay attention to your, maybe like the ways that you soothe yourself, maybe an emotional eating or something like that. I'm saying that all with kindness because <laughs> we all kind of do this. It's like, that's a part of your trauma. Like I've talked about in the past, like with the oral anal phase, like that's why I feel as though that could be something coming up here for you. So there could be something, that's why I was saying the letting go of something or letting go of a thing that you are kind of attached to I think once you shift out of that, because this is talking about how you can moderate yourself. So there could be something here that maybe even you're ingesting that is throwing off your inner equilibrium and that's affecting your manifestation abilities. So that's why I was saying like, for, I know that Tarians in general don't really like this. I don't even know a lot of people that like towers, but towers can be super positive, especially if you've been in a holding pattern or, or, you know, just like a phase where you're like, nothing is moving, but you could have settled into it in a way I am getting, if you ever want to change, 
Taurus, if you ever want it, this is the manifestation key. These are powerful. These two in the middle are powerful manifestation cards. So this is like your intentions, your ability to manifest things. And I have seen this personally, okay, where when I moderate myself and don't like, and stay very conscious and don't distract myself from an emotion that's coming up to the surface, everything shifts. It's like a quantum thing that happens that I cannot explain. And it is crazy. So that's what I see coming in here. Depends on if or when you guys ever want to activate it. That's totally up to you and your own free will and choice. But you have this potential here. And also, I'm going to tell you the tricky part of this is like, trust your own potential and don't fall in love with the potential of this human ever changing, which not saying you guys haven't, but it could be that like, there could be something that you've been holding on to the hope that this person, like you can see the potential of a human and it's freaking amazing. Um, but it's not really reality of who they are right now. Okay. There is, look at this, transform and connection. <laughs> So, there's the potential. Also, so there could be a tower moment coming in this connection, very possible. Also, what I was going to tell you, I actually feel like some of the things that you're looking at within another person are actually your potential. Does that make sense? Like there's actually like a potential you could get to within yourself, but there's a person here that you're connected to. I do want to say it's a male energy because this is very typical, especially for feminines, but you like could be looking at a particular person, possibly a bit on a pedestal and you might not totally realize that you'll, you might be doing what they do, but better. You know what I mean? Like you're rising to your potential in some way, shape or form. This looks really good. Okay. Wow. So we have Mr. King of Cups here, full of crazy emotional depth. Yeah. And, but I'm actually getting this as the person. This is fascinating. So we have the page of pentacles. Actually, no, 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 no. Let me say this. Okay. <sighs> so many things. Um, okay. We have the lovers in the middle and then look at the freaking surrounding energies. You have the nine of cups and the 10 of cups for crying out loud. Look at this. Are you freaking kidding me? So lots and lots and lots of love here wish fulfillment and here is this little freaking boy or child that you fell in love with in this human um i'm also seeing here there could be something about possibly a new business venture or way to make money could be new starting up Oh, Seven of Cups. Okay, I just saw the Seven of Cups. Hold on. I don't really know if your cards want to come out. <laughs> Maybe they just want to leave it there. Okay, you're good. <laughs> what is that? Okay. It's, there's that Seven of Cups. I was like... Tardis, this actually looks really good. Believe it or not, I don't know if I really have anything negative to say. <laughs> I can see there's like some confusion here. Okay, two of swords. I'm gonna put that in the mind. And then there's also this seven of cups. All right, that which that's what I talked about. I was like, oh, I just saw the seven of cups, and there it was. Okay, this is really very interesting. Here's our queen and king of wands, and you had that lovers here. 
And then there's the chariot right there. Okay. I am not really sure, like, completely. <laughs> I, I am... There's connection, there's lovers. So some of you guys might be making a choice. Okay. With the two of swords, the lovers, and the seven of cups, here's the thing. All right. I can see that there is like a connection coming in that has some legit potential. There could be a distance between you and this person. Also, for some of you guys, it's possible there's a few. I'm not gonna lie, like especially with the Seven of Cups, it could be that there's quite a few options coming in. There's one I can see that's like, wow, you know, as far as, there's like these different, and if you guys aren't dealing with this, I'm so sorry. Like this could also be that there's like a child involved or there's like a couple here that you're dealing with. Here's, I'm for my sanity, I'm gonna try to stick with this one storyline. Here's what I think. I think that either you or someone else has tons of options, okay? Maybe that's down this road once you let go of these things because I can see this is your process of coming into moderation because I know some of you guys are going to come at me in the comments and be like, I don't have any options. Well, the beginning part is the key to it about like your moderation, your ability to do that and the transformation that you're going to be going into and that. This, the timing is <laughs> timeless, okay? So here's what I can see here. You will come across like probably quite a few energies that want to be with you, okay? Because here you are looking pretty mighty fine, <laughs> nine and 10 of cups. So at that point, someone's gonna present themselves. I do see that there's like a couple of different energies. All right. There's a King of Cups here, so I'm just gonna go from there. There's a King of Cups energy that I feel like is a person that is has very strong emotions, I wanna say for you. And they like, there's something here about, they have like an awareness or something here about this attraction. It also could be something here about a physical sexual connection, not gonna lie, okay? And there's there's this very interesting thing about the chariot travel something about distance okay um i'm just gonna straight say straight up there's a very strong potential coming in i think you guys are gonna have to decide for yourself because i can see Mr. King and Cups at the top there that's like waiting. I actually think, think that that's what's happening is there's a person here that thinks that you're coming into all this wish, wish fulfillment. I have no idea like the history that you have with the King of Cups. It's going to be different for all of you. I do think there's been a lot of challenges and pain. Um, you also could have felt stuck with that person. Like it, it wasn't moving forward and maybe it's because of even like their emotional expression or I don't know, tons of different factors here. I can see that this person sees like some type of connection here and they not really liking it, okay? <laughs> In fact, like, Taurus, I'm going to say this straight up. There's a person that's waiting for you to kind of come out of the clouds and to be with them. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. It's like this person thinks that you're just in kind of like a little bit of a, like an illusion phase or that you're you're not really seeing things quite clearly. And maybe they're even thinking that you're not really seeing them clearly or seeing the connection clearly. They, like, I don't know what it is about that. But this Queen of Wands, King of Wands, like, they could be seeing here that there's, like, this attraction that's happening over here on the side. They could be at a distance. And <laughs> I wonder if they might show up by surprise or, like, kind of want to run interference on this. 
okay because the, the, I, I just feel a lot of like that's I think why I'm picking up on this oh the jealousy in competition yikes okay that's why yeah 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 very possessive that's mine five of wands this is like a freaking Kanye West Kim K reading <laughs> what in the world I don't even keep up on that but that's what I'm seeing here um I think Taurus this person knew you either when you were younger or this person kind of like ah, they knew you at a time and this could be something here about financial stability that they were watching you build something there's a shift happening in there not sure on the timeline of it where you're like full-blown in your wish fulfillment living like your best life this person and this energy will want to come in over there and this person is like this is mine because they felt like they were a part of this phase okay um they've been kind of waiting for you to build something so that you two would come together I don't know how this is playing out or that you guys would create this whole happy life, happy family, holy crap, nine and ten of cups, like that's what they are expecting slash maybe hoping for. They want this connection to come together. So this person feels very patient to me, the temperance and the king of cups. This person is like, um, they see this as like, and like this is everything they think you are the whole package type of dealio so they're trying to be patient and wait for whatever like you to finish out maybe a fantasy or just to come out of the clouds and realize like this connection because they think right now that you could be very confused or not seeing very, things very clearly also this could be that you're legit dealing with cognitive dissonance with this person like maybe I don't know there's all this stuff about falling in love with the potential and not the actual person and lots of sad stuff like that but the chariot there could be some interesting unexpected travel coming up going to see someone I don't know I'm going to dive into the extended we'll see whatever else wants to come out if you guys want to join me over there feel free Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Taurus, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care.